Her stream is YouTuber. You will have entered the world of Electrify Network Gaming and Streaming. And here is your host, all the way from the internet, Sly88Fry. Sup YouTube, it's your boy Sly88Fry. What's up, YouTube? Slide 8 Fry here. So, I'm going to do a very quick react video. I figured this video from this channel would work because it mentions gaming. So, let's do it. I mean, considering that my channel originally was just a gaming channel for a long time anyways... Hi there. Hello. Would you like to buy this puzzle from me? It's very nice. Oh, yeah. I mean, that's a good-looking puzzle. Here's my credit card. Okay, great. Wow. Thank you. There you go. Wait, oh, the box says a thousand pieces. Yeah. There are like there are like maybe a hundred pieces in here. <laughs> oh, yeah. That should be. Yeah. No. We'll fix that. We'll fix that. What do you mean? We'll up to, We'll send you more pieces. You know, once once they're done. I, okay. And what about this? This is this is paper. Yeah. That part. That part's a piece of paper for now. This whole section of the puzzle is an uncut piece of paper. Well, you know, we weren't exactly done making the puzzle, but thank you so much for buying it, though. Why would you sell me this if it's not finished? Well, see, the thing is, we <laughs> wanted the money now, so yeah. You know, it's understandable. It's, no, I don't it's think it, that means you didn't complete your end of the transaction is how I feel about it. But we will eventually, probably. This piece is clearly broken in two. Well, we could probably, we could probably patch that with like some tape. This one is straight up a triangle. That's not gonna fit into anything. Oh yeah, no, that's not <laughs> supposed to be a triangle. We'll make that not a triangle at a certain point, I imagine. It should have not been a triangle right away. <laughs> oh, dude, I value that feedback so much. That has a lot of value to me. We'll fix that in like four months. Four months, now is when I paid to do the puzzle. But other than the missing or broken, things it's pretty it's pretty cool right I mean I can see the pixels on this thing it looks nothing like the resolution of the box photo well that's because I mean the box was done on a really really good printer that most people can't afford or get their hands on the nice photo is what made me want to buy the puzzle listen you give us like a year you're gonna really enjoy this puzzle you're gonna you're gonna go fix it it's our I mean it's our number one priority no, here not. what are you what are you saying you're not just gonna move on to your next money-making scheme I would not I would never do yeah, that you would. okay <sighs> Would you like to buy an extension for the puzzle, though? Oh my god. It's only 30 bucks! Wow. <laughs> okay, so it's if video game companies made jigsaw puzzles. So, uh, in case somehow you're not familiar, this is exactly what they're joking about. It's the fact that a lot of video games that are released nowadays, even from AAA publishers, but usually more so from indie developers, um, they release the game for the full price, 60 bucks, but there's a ton of stuff missing, it's clearly incomplete, they instead focused on meeting a deadline instead of actually releasing the full game. So they update the game later after you already bought it, and oftentimes will charge you DLC for the updates when it should have been released with the original finished game or finished game. So, yeah, uh, can you imagine if they, uh, that, that that jigsaw analogy, that jigsaw puzzle analogy was perfect. It, it makes, it, it represents exactly what people have been complaining about when it comes to the video game industry. To be honest, I never thought about that much until now, but I think that might be might even be one of the reasons why I don't even bother with some video games because I'm just like, oh, it's a big ass game. It's got all this shit. I don't feel like playing this, and and it's mostly because I, I I might not really have the time because I, I work a lot, but and um, you know I spend all the time with my wife. Um. But I think it also has to do with the fact that, uh, and it may be in the back of my mind, like, do I really want to buy this really huge game that I'm sure is incomplete and they're going to charge me for the DLC later to actually have the complete game? And I don't mean like, you know, the game is done like Super Smash Bros, but they're adding DLC, additional fighters through DLC. I mean like there's missing parts to the game that are essential to playing the game that you have to pay for later. 
a lot of publishers have been doing that. Usually indie developers, but it has happened in AAA titles, and it's it's unacceptable. Anyways, that was the perfect analogy. Ryan George, once again, is a comedic genius. That said, thank you so much for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and click that bell icon to add me notifications. I actually have a playlist of more React videos to Ryan George videos, as well as his Screen Rant series Pitch Meeting, all on the same playlist, uh, Ryan George and Pitch Meeting Reacts, if you want to check out some more of them.